The following video is for informational purposes only. This is not an instructional video and you should follow all proper procedures as instructed by your own peritoneal dialysis nurse and clinic. Okay, the first step when doing peritoneal dialysis is usually taking your blood pressure. Now, depending on uh, whether your blood pressure is in the normal range, if it's high, or if it's low, will help determine what strength of peritoneal dialysis solution uh, you will need to use in conjunction with what your weight is, whether it's uh, above your normal weight and you have excess fluid in your body, uh, or if you have any type of edema. Okay, next I'm going to take my temperature. And uh, the reason you take your temperature is, of course, you want to make sure you have a normal temperature. But if you have an elevated temperature, uh, there's a good chance you may have peritonitis, which is a very serious infection of the peritoneal lining. So we always take our temperature every day to make sure that uh, temperature is not elevated and we do not have peritonitis. So as you can see here, I am taking my temperature. Okay, next I'm going to be taking my weight, and uh, the weight helps you also determine the strength of the peritoneal dialysis fluid. Whether you've gained a lot of fluid weight or not will help uh, determine what solution to use. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is start preparing my peritoneal dialysis supplies for the cycler. Uh, I'm going to take out the uh, bags of fluid that I'm going to need. Uh, in my particular treatment, I use two bags of 6,000 milliliter uh, fluid bags. Uh, other people have to use three bags, some use four bags, so everyone's treatment is different, just depends on what you need. Also going to take out uh, one of the cassettes, um, cassette and tubing cases, get that ready to go. Going to get my face mask ready and paper towels, going to use the paper towels to wipe down the, the bags of fluid after I take them out of the, uh, the bags. Now I'm going to turn the machine on, get the machine ready to go. Takes a little while for the machine to warm up and to get ready. And that is the Cycler, the Baxter Home Choice Cycler Peritoneal Dialysis Machine. And before I uh, open up all the bags and the, the cassette, I'm going to wash my hands and use sanitizer. Then I'm going to open up the front of the machine, and get it ready for the cassette. Unwrap the cassette and going to place the cassette into the front of the cyclo machine. Make sure everything's in there good and then lock it down. Then hang the tubing and the little hang thing there and get it close off all the clamps on the lines. And I hit go, get the machine ready to uh, to test out the uh, the cassette before I connect the the bags of dialysis fluid. So here I'm just wiping off the excess fluid on the bags since they're usually kind of moist. Placing the bag on the first bag on top of the machine in the uh, the warming spot there. Also make sure it's not leaking. Press down on it. I'm going to get the second bag, unwrap the second bag, and wipe down the second bag. And then place the second bag uh, next to the machine. In my case, I place it under the machine on my cart. And the machine is still testing. Now the machine is ready to for me to connect the the lines to the bags. I've already connected up some clamps to the bags. So bags are clamped up and I'm connecting the bags of fluid to the lines. Okay, 
connected the first bag, now I'm connecting the second bag. And I am wearing my face mask, of course. Make sure you use proper antiseptic techniques as taught to you by your nurse. Here I'm uh, placing the drain line to my toilet. Luckily my toilet is close enough where I could use the drain line. I know some people have to use the drain bags, but I'm uh, able to use the drain line. And I, I purchased a nifty little clamp from uh, Stickman Industries, a website that clamps right onto the uh, end of the toilet there. So you don't have to tape it, just use that clamp. Yeah, then I'm going to unclamp all the clamps on the, uh, the lines of the bags and the patient line. And I'm going to press start to start priming the lines with the dialysis fluid. Now this takes a couple of minutes. And here's just to show you an example of what a peritoneal dialysis catheter looks like. Uh, goes right into you. I have it taped up. Okay, it looks like everything is primed up now and uh, it's ready for me to connect up to the dialysis machine. So I'm going to check the patient line, make sure it's primed properly. Wearing my while wearing my mask and after I wash my hands and using proper antiseptic technique I'm about to connect up now so here we go gonna connect up that's the patient line and there's my transfer set being very careful not to touch the ends of the uh, line or the transfer set to anything while I connect them up just to themselves and now they're connected nice and tight take my mask off I'm going to turn the uh, transfer set to the open position and then hit go on the dialysis cycle machine and peritoneal dialysis is about to start after being connected to the uh, peritoneal dialysis machine for approximately eight and a half to nine hours it's time to disconnect so normally I'd be sleeping during that time the dialysis is finished so now it's time to disconnect and here shows you how I would be disconnecting from the machine again being careful not to touch anything to the end of the transfer set I'm going to put a new mini cap on and I'm good to go.